Hi everyone, this is Esther Camacho with the McAllen Public Library, and welcome to another episode of Frontier Roots, This Week in History. This is a sad article regarding a man named Charles Anders that I found in the San Antonio Light, dated the 16th of October, 1883. Charles Anders, a well-known stockman of Hidalgo County, has been murdered and robbed at his store, which is situated on his ranch by four cowardly greasers. After doing some research, I come to discover that his last name is actually Andre. He was born in 1836 in Hanover, Germany. In the 1880 census, he is found on El Rusio Ranch. And he had a store on that ranch. Unfortunately, he was murdered in his store. So I did a little bit more digging and found out that he was married in August of 1881 to Josefina Alvarez. And they had at least one child before he was killed in 1883. He is probably buried on El Rusio Ranch Cemetery. This 1935 news article reports on the passing of one of the first residents of Edinburgh. Mrs. Elizabeth Chase was born in Ohio in 1849. She was known as Lizzie Engelhart. That was her maiden name. Her parents were from Germany. She married James Chase in 1872. Her death certificate only indicates being buried in Edinburgh. So I searched find a grave. And that records her being buried on Don Patricio Cemetery. After doing some more research, I discovered that Mr. and Mrs. Chase are both buried in the Hillcrest Cemetery. That is the obituary for Mr. Chase in 1936 and toward the bottom the last sentence says Mrs. Chase preceded him in death by five months. In the monitor on Thursday the 19th of October 1950 HEB celebrates 45th anniversary. Elmer Copenhaver manager of the McAllen store said no special birthday celebration would be staged, except for the hot prices on the annual birthday sale. Howard E. Butt and his mother started a small store in Kerrville, Texas, 45 years ago. That means in 1905. The Valley HEB stores during this 1950 time frame are in McAllen, Mission, Barr, Edinburgh, Donna, Westlaco, Mercedes, Harlingen, San Benito, Brownsville, and Raymondville. In this 1939 article in the Monitor, 90 Hidalgo boys join CCC camps. The CCC stands for Civilian Conservation Camp. James Walsh, the supervisor of the local State Department of Public Welfare Office, reported. He reported that 75 enrollees left for Flagstaff, Arizona, and 15 for Floresville, Texas. The boys enlisted for at least six months, but may remain up to two years in this program. $22 of their monthly salary was sent home to the parents. In the center picture, which was taken around 1939, in front is my uncle Albert Bagley. The Pearl Brewing Company began its brewery in 1883 in San Antonio, Texas. In 1985, 
Pearl purchased the Paps Brewing Company and kept the Paps name. The Pearl Brewery in San Antonio was finally closed in 2001. And lastly, man blows himself up in County Courthouse Blast. On the 27th October of 1954, Mr. Harry Miller was in the newly built courthouse for a hearing. He was injured while working and was seeking compensation for his missed salary. Leaving the second floor, he, whether intentionally or by accident, ignited the dynamite he had on his person. It was said that the explosion was heard all over town. The explosion damaged some of the marble interior, but no one else was injured. This is Astra Camacho, and thank you for watching this episode of Frontier Roots, This Week in History. Don't forget to leave a comment below and to like us on Facebook at MPL Adults. And subscribe to our YouTube channel at McAllen Public Library. So see you next time on another episode of Frontier Roots.